Hey everybody, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with my For the Love of Homemade kits. This is the April kit, which is my really like bright, colorful, fun, yeah, bright, colorful, fun kit. And so I am going to use four pictures today and I have printed them all onto a four by six. So basically I just took the four photos, put them in my Project Life app and printed them out on one four by six. So I have all of these little two by threes. And it's basically my husband and my son playing in the pool and he's catapulting him off of his shoulders, basically. And so it's a series of four kind of action shots of him doing his catapult into the water. And so what I wanted to do was create kind of a brick style with all of these washi tape strips. So I had this whole pack of washi tape um, from Ellie Studio that I put in this particular kit and I basically haven't touched it yet. So all I'm gonna do is start lining these up kind of like bricks along the bottom of the page. And this is kind of a design that's all over the place uh, in the inspiration world right now. Lots of people are playing around with this particular design. And it's super fun because it's super easy. And so I did pull out my um, T-square ruler just to make it a little bit easier to make sure that I'm getting the washi tape at least somewhat straight. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know me, I, I'm not into the whole like perfect measured out details. I do want to make sure as I'm making each row of washi tape that I'm not ending them at the same places. So the cool thing about this LA Studio washi um, like strips like this is all the strips well, not all of them, but a bunch of the strips are different sizes. So it makes it really easy to kind of create this look where everything is staggered. So I'm going to have my four rows of washi along the bottom. And then I finished up by putting two along the top. And I really like that there are three of them that are phrases. So it keeps the pattern going, but it doesn't necessarily look like washi tape. It looks like I have kind of stamped a phrase in those spaces. And you could absolutely have stamped a phrase in those open spaces. Um, rather than using that kind of phrase washi tape, if you don't have any of that in your stash, you could totally get the same look with stamping. So I'm going to take my four photos and I want to put them on some pattern paper. So I'm going to start out with this blue kind of like mermaid scale ish paper, and it's going to run along the bottom edge of my photos. And then I'm just going to stick in some other colors as well. So I want to build up that photo element because the washi tape does make it like a little bit more busy. There's a lot of pattern going on. Um, I'm just building up my photo element portion. And so once I am happy with kind of how I'm going to have those layers and I don't want them to be straight, they're going to be a little bit wonky and I am totally good with that look, um, especially with um, like more fun colors and pattern papers and things. I'm totally good with having the wonky edges. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this really bright orange and basically put everything on top of the orange. And there really isn't a whole ton of orange in the rest of like the washi strips and stuff. Um, but because this is like fun pool photos, it works. And I want to use dimensional adhesive. So I'm going to put some fun foam behind that entire block. And that whole block is going to end up popped up off the page. So that's really going to help my photos kind of be the highlight, even though there is so much pattern and so much other stuff going on with this particular layout. So I'm just going to grab my fun foam, put that on the back, and that's going to create that extra dimension and lift for my photo element that I am looking for. And that's when I'm going to kind of switch to embellishing. I'm not going to do a whole ton of embellishing on this particular layout because the washi strips are going to do a lot of the work for me in terms of having that really kind of fun, different look. Um, I do like, at this point, I'm kind of thinking, I know that I need to put some inking around the edge. So I'm gonna grab my Mardi Gras ink from Catherine Pooler, and I'm just gonna use that around the edge. And then I also have that little strip of polka dot pattern paper that I put underneath my photo block. And I'm gonna lift up the edge of it super carefully and add some to that as well. So it has a little bit more definition. Um, and then I'm just going to finish that like part off with the very last strip of washi tape that was on that pack. So I totally finished the pack, you guys, which is super exciting. Um, and that's going to go right underneath and it's going to form kind of the basis for where my title is going to go. 
so I wanted my title to just say launched and so I'm going to use these black alphas and these are the ones that I pulled out for my kit so if you want to go back and see where like all of these supplies came from or more information about those make sure you watch the April um, for the love of homemade kits kit reveal or you can check it out on the blog if you want to do that as well um, so I'm just going to spell out this word launched and then I'm going to put a little hashtag in front. So really, I guess my title is hashtag launched. Um, just because I felt like that kind of finished off the space a little bit better. I don't know. Um, but then I wanted to add just a few little details. And so I don't have a ton of embellishments like die cuts or stickers or anything like that that I wanted to use on this particular layout. So I'm just digging through what I have left of this kit, which is not a ton. I have used a lot of the stuff that I had in this kit, and I've even brought in some extras. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab these little enamel like dot triangles, and I'm going to have three little clusters, and they're all going to be kind of centered around my photo. So I'm going to take these triangles and just put them in different directions. They're going to just add, I don't know, kind of a fun little detail, I think. So I'm going to have clusters of three, and I have one that's going to go on that end of my title. I have one that is going to go kind of up on this top left edge of my photo cluster. And then I'm going to do a third one up over that phrase that's on top of my photo. So I end up with a nice visual triangle, three sets of threes, um, which, you know, follows all the happy design principles and things. It just adds a little bit of extra texture and dimension. It's definitely not something that would have to be there. Um, I'm going to add just a few of these little, like, puffy sticker enamel dot type of things. So I've got some blue, and then I have some lime green. And then I'm going to grab my black, I think it's ebony black, Nouveau drops. And I'm going to add some, like, teeny tiny black drops like barely even a drop. I don't know if there's even going to end up being any height to it because I go with like super teeny tiny. And I like how that looks. It just looks like I kind of left like, I don't know, polka dots in each of my clusters. So I'm going to add three of those little dots to each one of these embellishment clusters. And that is basically going to do it. So hopefully if you are playing along with an April for the love of homemade kits, you are making progress, you are getting some of those products used up, and I will be back to see you very soon with another project. Do make sure that you are hanging out with us over on Facebook because I am scrapbooking a bunch of you guys' pictures live over there. So if you haven't submitted a picture or you're not following on Facebook, there's a link down below. Come join us over there. It's a lot of fun. Bye!